Information officers in emergency response are inundated by data that they have to sift through in order to maintain situation awareness during times of calm and crisis. By way of example, analysts at FEMA Region 10 look through 37 different content providers ranging from news sites, consumer health alerts, weather reports, and Department of Transportation bulletins. This activity can take multiple hours and is difficult to search through. Additionally, they are being tasked with adding social media feeds like Twitter and Facebook to monitor events, social behavior, and community emotional state. The activity awareness environment was designed to improve the information synthesis process by bringing in multiple disparate data feeds and sources, extracting features of interest, and visualizing the information to give emergency response professionals insight and situational understanding in a timely and intuitive manner. The system also applies a user recommendation system to help filter the data based on the needs and activities of the user, thereby giving them the right information at the right time. Here we see that a system administrator has already set up various feeds for ingest. This can be RSS feeds, direct server integration, and queries established from Twitter. The source list on the left of the application allows the user to quickly filter data and alter the types of information being displayed in the environment. On the right side is a list of all the content available from the sources selected. You can see the types of content ranges from Twitter messages to documents to RSS feeds. The information can be sorted by date, type, and rating. Below each piece of content is a rating bar that visualizes its importance to the user. The longer the bar, the more relevant it is to their current interests and activities. The user can change this rating by clicking the up or down thumb icons. If the user elects to see more like this, other information with similar content will move up the list. If they choose to see less like this, the content will move down the list. This essentially trains the user profile system in the environment around the user, their activity, and even their role. We have additional ways to manage the user profile, which we'll talk about a little later. The user can click on each item to read its full text. The content opens in the native browser to maintain context and formatting of its source. The system has ingested lots of documents, and even with filters based on the user's profile, there are still too many for anyone to read in a timely way. The Activity Awareness Environment offers multiple visualizations that allow the user to understand this content and provide filtering mechanisms to bring down the document count to a consumable level. One of the first views afforded to the user is an info or county map visualizing the amount of mappable data per county. Users can quickly see which counties in their focus areas are generating the most information based on the sources selected. On Hover, the user can quickly see a document count per county. Additionally, they can filter based on individual counties by selecting an area of interest. This interaction works across the entire application and all its views as a method to scope the information around the user interest. We can also show information directly on a geospatial map as a layer. Here, we are showing tweets that fit the user profile and also have geo-coordinates. Each tweet is selectable, and the feeds list scrolls to that specific tweet in context and relevance to other feeds. The view itself can be a filter based on the area of the map in view by selecting the filter button in the upper right corner. The feeds change as the user pans and zooms the map based on the content in view. This gives detail on demand of content based on user interaction of geospatial information. A third visualization called the term map shows key terms or topics extracted from the content of the feeds. These are shown by size indicating the count or weight of the term compared to all other terms. The bigger the term square represented, the more times that term occurs in the content. The grid is also broken out by source as different colors in the visualization. The user can focus on individual sources or select terms and topics to filter based on those keywords. Users can make a more complex filter by applying it to other views like the info and whirlwind maps, and thus refine the content to more than one facet of the data. At the bottom of the environment is a timeline that shows the key terms or topics temporarily. As with the term map, the larger the topic, the more the term is prevalent in the content. The user can change the time window display by dragging it left and right, as well as change the scope by drilling into a particular hour or day. Each term can be selected and becomes a filter just like the other views. Additionally, the timeline view itself can be a filter based on the time visible by clicking the filter icon in the upper right corner of the view. All of these visualizations work together to give situational awareness of the information that emergency responders are interested in. 
The ability to filter based on location, time, or a combination of all of them allows the user to get more detail about specific information of interest. A powerful aspect of the activity awareness environment comes from a unique profile feature called the user recommendation system that filters the content even further based on the user's role and interest. We saw earlier how the rating bar and the ability to change the ranking of content help sort the feeds. Now let's see how the user can manage that more specifically using the profile manager. The profile screen in the activity awareness environment allows the user to manage the terms of interest that the system uses to sort and filter content on. The column on the left is all the terms that all the users in the system, the community, have identified as interesting. The column on the right is all the terms that the user has identified as interesting. Each list is sorted by relevance. This view allows the user to visualize their terms compared to the community to understand how they are different than others and further adjust their settings to either match or differentiate further from them. Managers can also compare subordinates to adjust their term profiles to make sure their team has the correct coverage for a given situation. A user can drag and drop terms up and down the ranking order, and they can also drag the bar to manually change its ranking order. This changes the rank order and value each term has in its content, and thus will change the way the data gets represented in the visualizations. Users can also add or delete terms to adjust and refine their profile to match their current tasks and activities. The user modeling recommendation system is what drives precision in the activity awareness environment. It ensures that the right information gets to the right person at the right time. It can be seeded by a particular role or requirement, but is eventually completely steered by each user. The activity awareness environment consists of multiple views that visualize the information based on temporal aspects, geospatial metadata, and topics extracted from the content. Each view visualizes the content to increase cognitive awareness of information during an event, during planned activities, and during those rare downtimes. When combined with rich filters and a user modeling recommendation system, the environment provides situational awareness for emergency responders, giving them the right information at the right time. For more information on activity awareness or precision information, go to precisioninformation.org.